and now that we get all of we 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 insert the cards in the data table the next thing to make is to display them in the data table like we done when we was on the brand table so let's close here let's say we don't need we don't need the money trend and let's go to cast and let's search data table here is not brand data table it will be kaha data table and here is not fetch brands that we will call we want to call and that is fetch brand and i i noticed that And that we can use the same, the same for the same folder, the same file for for fetch call. Let's say it's here is not fetch brand. Let's see that we will use the manage car screen. And let's say that the data, the operation will be fetch all and see the have two file two different file we can make all in this single file and let's see that, that here let's reduce we don't need this but we have fetch single that exists we are fetch and we are delete single okay now let's see that if The current operation is equal to fetch all. We will start all of this and let's go to fetch brand and take all of this content because we are already in cast tool, I think. I think okay I have make the insertion and so it will be the same thing and now if I come back and refresh I hope always work okay now all all work so we will use this single file to make it let me make some annotation okay now this thing the first thing to make is to select all from cast let's save this one and refresh we get the cast name we start get the cast name but it's not only the cast that you want to select you want to select with cast with the brand on Now let's refresh. And it says that I have made some wrong request. And let's say the request is good. And here is where cast name like. And when we we make something, let's say select all from cars, and we need to specify all this here is not ordered by ID because now we have two ID. We have the ID of the cars and the ID of this table. Now we get in our SEO. And now notice that here is not it says it will be select all from cars.
select name from friend at brand And now, if we leave this quick query like this, we crawl on this beautiful error so far, fix it. We don't want to replace cars ID everywhere, 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 everywhere. So, the thing that we want to make, let's say we want to refresh right now and see what's up here. Select all from cars, searching brands, on cars, the brands ID is equal to brands. And why we get this error? And he said name is ambiguous. So the thing that we want to, to make is to select all information in the cars table and on the brands table. We want to get to get a name as brand and from cars left chain brand and if you press it like this we can avoid this errors And why he says where close is only goes colon where let's see cast and target only the name and we get we get we remove this one and we get this design appear now. Let's now click here and add a new car, let's see car two. And for the brand, let's say you want that's here this time. Let's say this, this and price this, this one, and now the price is this one. And click, and here we get success card instead successfully. And we get card two, card one. And now the next thing to do is to display the correct, the correct row. So let's go back to cars and here where we are. We have a table here is not really here. We have a car, the car, we have a brand. We can see that we are the car, the brand, our price. The day price and the month price, and let's see that bottom here we have 
available and now if you refresh we get the error because row doesn't match and let's go to the back end now and let's display all the data that we want and after the id we want to display let's see if we call the brand it will not showing some error okay now we can display in our data here it will be our price next one will be the price next one will be more price and and here we remove the brand because we rename it as brand and for the available let's say for the available okay now let's say for the available we want to make something different it says that we want to display the available here and before this let's say that if dollar is equal to zero let's say if it's equal to zero we want to display one button with we don't need all of this we just need a class uh, let's call it span is better and here is a span and the available will be equal to this to this one available will be equal to this one and here it will be danger and if it's zero it means that it's available and else and else is will it will be invoking button button warning let's remove the class we don't need here we don't need this one here and let's see set of warning is primary and now if you refresh for the two car we have a status of available so they are available and we will check later how we can know if it's good or not so let's test again if we can make this switch if we see and all working so okay thank you for watching and in the next part we will work on the edit part and don't forget to subscribe and share this video with your friends